Hello everyone, welcome to West Explains Best. We're doing a Khan Academy tutorial today on area of parts of circles. So it asks us in this particular example to find the area of the shape. And it says either enter as an exact number or in terms of pi. So we're gonna try to leave it in terms of pi. That's what I prefer as a geometry teacher is when it's left in pi, it makes it easier for people who don't have calculators to do the problem. So that's what we're gonna do. So it kind of looks like we have a Pac-Man going on here. It's not a complete circle, but how much of the circle do we have? Well, if we were to find the area of a complete circle, let me put a question mark, that'll make it look cool. Okay, if we were trying to find the area of a complete circle, we'd use the formula pi r squared, and that would be its area. But we obviously can't do it here because it's got a chunk out. Now, what we need to find out is how much of the entire area of a full circle do we have covered here? What percentage? The way I like to do it the, the, to demonstrate the easiest is if we had half a circle, okay, cut in half, what would our new formula be? Well, we would just take our formula that we have here, pi r squared, but now since we have half, we're going to divide by two or multiply by one half either way. How do I know that? Well, because it's half a circle. Isn't that intuitive? Another way to consider it is if we have half a circle, what is the measure in degrees of how much that circle we have? Because keep in mind, in a complete circle, we have 360 degrees. So how much would we have in half a circle? Well, half of that is 180. Where do we come up with this one half right there? Pi r squared times one half. Well, we get that because 180, which is the part we have in the half circle, divided by the whole, which is 360, equals one half. That's where that comes from. So instead of multiplying by one half, we can divide by two, and we get the same thing. So back to our original problem. How can we translate this into what we're talking about with the portion of the circle? Well, you can see here that it gives us a very important clue in that this is 90 degrees. So how much of the full circle is represented? Well, if that's 90 degrees, we can do 360 minus 90 to find out, and that equals 270. So this is 270 degrees of a full circle. So if we want to find out what portion to multiply the area, think about it as like, either one half or something else, what portion of the circle do we account for? 270 degrees by itself, we don't multiply it by 270 because 270 is not the whole. The whole is 360, so we divide it by 360. So once we do 270 divided by 360, we get, as expected, 0 0.75. Okay, Or you can call this 3 fourths. So let's come up with an equation for our formula of this Pac-Man. So area of our Pac-Man, I'm calling P for Pac-Man, equals pi r squared, just like before. But now instead of just the full circle, we want part of it. How much of the circle do we want? We only want 3 fourths. So now that we have that, that's our master formula. Everything is just plug and play from here. We just plug in what we know, and we're good to go. So we're going to plug in this too. That's our radius, in for there, in for the r. And then we can figure that out. So AP equals pi times 2 squared times 3 over 4. Don't multiply pi times 2 and then square the result. That's going to yield you the wrong answer. So you get pi times 4 times 3 over 4. Now, what I like to see here is we have a 4 and we have a divide by 4. So those just completely cancel, leaving us with 3 pi. If you want to leave it in decimal form, you guys could put... Uh, 3 times pi in your calculator, and you get somewhere around 9.42. But I like living in terms of pi, so I'm going to type in 3 pi. 3 pi. Great. Here we have the exact same problem because it's another uh, 3 quarter, um, 3 fourths of a... Uh, Circle this is kind of like our Pac-Man again because we can see this is 90. So we're just going to do pi r squared times 3 over 4. But this time we have 4 for our area. So area of a Pac-Man, we have a Pac-Man again. Uh, so we're going to plug in 4 for r. Pi times 4 squared times 3 over 4. 
pi times 16 times 3 over 4. This time, the, it's not going to cancel completely. We're going to be left with 4. So we have pi times 4 times 3, 12 pi. And that's going to be our answer, unit squared, 12 pi. OK, great. So we have an example where we're talking about half a circle. We already came up with that. How do I know it's half a circle? This is 180 degrees. It's an implied because we have a straight edge there, and we know that the radius is 6. So we're going to do pi r squared uh, divided by 2 or multiplied by 1 half. Let's be consistent. Let's multiply by 1 half here. If you want to divide by 2, that's also good. So we're going to plug in uh, 6 for r, pi times 6 squared. I always like to square the 6 first. I mean, like to. <laughs> you need to. Um, but I like to put it in parentheses so you know to square the 6 first. Pi times 36 times 1 half. 1 half times 36 is 18. 18 pi. So for those that are wondering what I'm doing with this pi, I'm just kind of leaving it by himself for most of the time. And I just kind of tag them on at the end, kind of like a variable. So 18 pi. And let's see if we get a tougher question here. No, we get the same thing. So again, uh, but be careful this time. Now it gives us diameter. So we need to divide this in two to get the radius. So the radius is going to be equal to five. So don't make that mistake. Pi r squared times one half again for this one. So we have area equals pi times five squared times one half. So we get 25 over 2 pi. So this time I'm going to need a fraction. So let's get our fraction ready. So let's type 25 pi in the top divided by 2. There we go. Hope you guys found this helpful. Uh, I'll see you next time. In the meantime, be good, be kind, be true, be nice, be honest. Have a wonderful day. See ya.